Hello, I'm Katherine Kennedy. Today we will be visiting with Dr. Cormelli to learn about the importance of conducting a self-exam for skin cancer. First off, doctor, why is it so important to conduct a self-exam monthly? It's really important to be able to check yourself for skin cancer because skin cancer is the most preventable type of cancer. Detected early, it's about 99% curable. However, just this year alone, we're estimating 12,000 people will die because they did not get early enough detection and treatment. So we want to make sure that each and every year, you get your skin checked by a dermatologist and for you to be able to monitor your skin and to find out what you should look for monthly. So doctor, what should I be looking for when I do a monthly exam? Have you heard of the ABCDE of melanoma? I haven't. Well, let's go over this. And remember, this is only a guideline. So there are gonna be things that are exceptions to this rule and this is not gonna be a substitute for getting a good skin exam by a dermatologist. So A stands for asymmetry. Now what's asymmetry? It means that if you had an imaginary lesion and you were to put a line right through it, one side would not look like the other side. Asymmetrical. B is for border, which means that if you look at it, one edge looks like someone nibbled a little piece, looks like a little footsie growing on the other side. It just looks weird. The borders are not round and perfect. C stands for color which means it's not just one uniform color, it's got little brown, little red, little orange, just all sorts of colors in it. D is for diameter, so anything more than six millimeters, which is bigger than the tip of an eraser on a number two pencil, that's something significant, potentially. And then E stands for evolving, anything that's changing, growing, or just not staying constant, that also is something that we look for. Now, when I want to do a self-exam, where do I start? First, take off your clothes and stand facing the full length mirror. Now check your chest, shoulders and arms as well as under each arm and look down the front of your thighs and calves. Second, bend your elbows and carefully examine your forearms, then the backs and palms of your hands. Third, now grab the hand mirror and check the backs of your thighs and bottom of your feet. Be sure to check between the toes. Fourth, check the back of your neck with the hand mirror, then your hair using a blow dryer to move it. Be sure to look at the area around and behind each ear. Finally, use the hand mirror to examine your buttocks and lower back. Sounds easy enough. Well, thank you so much for the information, doctor. Remember, skin cancer is preventable if detected early, but you have to take action. This means examining your skin head to toe every month and visiting your dermatologist annually. For more information on how to reduce your risk of skin cancer, please visit preventcancer.org slash save your skin.